Unicorn Princess here and I've not seen you in ages but I'm not going to blather about it because we have important things to do mainly looking at what's behind this door. This is my new room tour. Very excited. Okay, let's just go. It's all on the other side of this door. Can you tell what colour it is? Okay, let's start with what's on the inside of my door. We've just got my favourite, like, night dress thingy hanging next to my, um, dress and gown. Yep, that's what it's called. And you can see that the walls are pink. And just over here, we've got my awesome pushing calendar with all the important dates. We are filming in July. Before we do anything else, you need to appreciate the incredible softness of this carpet. It's like cheap and fluff and it's so aesthetic and it's pink and oh my god I love this carpet so much. So first I want to look at my end of bed shelvy thingies. Here in the first square we've got all of my cute skirts. And then we go across and we've got a big pom pom purin. And then all of my cute tops. I say all of them, at least half of them are still in the wash, I think. But quite a lot. We go down a level and I've got cute fat sheep. Followed by some of my bigger Tsum Tsums. I've got my Donald and my Dumbo. And then my unicorn family. And another big sheep. Down on the bottom level, we've got my kind of gothy skirts, I guess. The ones with buckles and tartan. Followed by a bunny. Followed by all of my kind of gothy tops. This is totally something I have worn before. <laughs> if we come back up to the top, I've got some of my ornaments here. A little chicken from my second trip to Japan. Some unicorn candles. This is my makeup that I use, like, most of the time. Glow palette. It's from Primark, but it's it's pretty awesome. Fairy dust, a cream. Got another unicorn candle that looks super cute. Got it from Asda. And another candle. And then if you look along here, I've got my little collectible like pudding cups, and we've got all of my uh, I guess my unicorn themed makeup brushes and my hairbrush and then we've just got like pens and pencils in those ones there. Now if you turn right onto my room you get this wall. That's a lot to take in so we'll just start from the bottom. I've got a bunch of books and DVDs and scrapbooks in these um, shelves here. These drawers are pretty much filled with uh, scrapbooking stuff, photos, and obviously my uh, my everyday bag just hanging out here in this corner. This is my little bench area. You can totally sit here. It is squishy and comfortable. So we've just got my sheepy pillow, my uh, scrapbook from my degree show. You can find the video for that up here somewhere. Got my pink mp3 player attached to my good speakers. They're good. Cleaning your room with music? Best way to clean your room. More pillows. Got my big unicorn statues here. Two of them. And then my treasure chest full of all of my precious stones. Moving on up this wall we get to shelf of plushes number one. Which I'm sure you've seen before but let's just go through them. This shelf is little twin stars themed mostly. So we've got my big plush star that lights up and a whole collection of all my little twin stars, unicorns, Nakajima right in the middle. 
Got my unicorn that I won in Pearl Land on my first visit. I do have some um, Angelic Pretty bags here, um, but I just like to keep them like plushies because they're adorable. And a little mascot up there too. Super cute. Up on my second shelf, got a whole bunch more favorite plushies here. We've got Super Pushina Corn that I spent forever trying to get. And now he's got Pug Sheen as a friend. I don't know if that's his name, but that's what I'm calling him. Got a little Pusheen seal, sweet giraffe, little Sanrio cat, piggy girl, my baby, my elephant plush that I made for my degree show, who I love, nestled in there. And then Terra Panda and Monokurubu with my uh, Kawaii Good hat, which is it's a great hat. I love it. If we carry on through this wall, we have my massive heart-shaped wall shelf, which is all themed, and I'll explain it to you now. So basically, the most of my shelf is a mixture between my Sailor Moon stuff, my unicorn stuff, with a little bit of Disney sprinkled in there. And of course, picture frames, because I have pictures everywhere. Starting from the bottom, we've got my Dream Masquerade Carnival stuff that I got when Angelic Pretty came to London. You can find a link for that vlog up here. I'm collecting through uh, the newest Pusheen blind boxes. So I got Red Panda and Leopard here. I also have uh, Mermaid Stormy and a panda. Got a nice collage here. Got a uh, me and Hamish up in this corner, Parikara from uh, Japan, second trip. Me and Paula, me and Conan, my mom, my sister, and I. Me and Rick in Japan. This is a photo from my 26th birthday, I want to say, and a little smiley sunshine. If we go up to the next shelf, we've got. Stormy as a unicorn and some Sailor Moon collectible stuff and Powder the unicorn from my 80s collection. I love this middle shelf. This is kind of my Sailor Moon tribute love shelf. Got the music box, which is beautiful. It's got the Moon Kingdom. Got some powder. That's actually Anna Sui, this unicorn perfume here, which is awesome. Sailor Moon perfume. Move along a little bit. Got me and my BFF Paula nestled in between some uh, fourth gen My Little Ponies there. Got some more stuff from Angelic Pretty. Some perfume. Me and Conan in Disneyland Paris, which I'll pop up a link for. You can look at that too. On this far side here, we've got my custom unicorn made just for me. The way I wanted. And she's beautiful. This box is filled with people I don't see very often. We've got my Uncle Miles in the corner there with me and my sister and my friend Richard from Edinburgh. Going along, we got some more Sailor Moon stuff. This is a bunch of Sailor Moon makeup. I've got nail varnish and shiny powder and a whole bunch of eyeliners and lipsticks and things. Got me and Paula again, this time in a glitter frame with my awesome little unicorn statue that was a housewarming gift. I will explain that later. We got a whole bunch of my fourth gen unicorns in there. Got Rarity up there and then some first gen My Little Ponies. And we got all of my Tsum Tsums. All squished in the top of this heart here. And then some more unicorns. Moving on from the heart shelf, if we swing round, now we have these shelves. We'll just start from the bottom. So the very bottom shelf has some of my favourite bags in it. Uh, the ones that I like to use pretty much all of the time. Got my bear bag on the side there that I wore to Paris all the time. Got my Liz Lisa bag. My uh, special Sanrio, my Melody bag, which I love and is amazing. We got my Kiss Me Cat Angelic Pretty bag, and that's a Dream V bag, I think. On the shelf above that is my favourite shoes, my, my fanciest, most favourite shoes. 
So you can see here we've got my uh, my Liz Lisa boots that are my absolute favorite boots ever. Followed by uh, two pairs of cotton candy feet shoes that are some of my favorite Lolita shoes, and then my Angelic Pre um, glitter party heels that I wore for my my London thing. The shelf above all that is just a big plush collection. We got my collection of guys here that are all from uh, the little twin stars. Got my little uh, Tanuki in the back there. Got Winnie the Pooh. Frog that I got from the... Um... Oh no, actually I got him from um, Pearl Land. Uh, again, link or button to press. You can see my Pearl Land trip there. Got a whole bunch of alpacas. Rulakuma hiding in the background. Some more amused things, and my Miyochi Bee Cat, who I love. Moving on up to the shelf above is my kind of jewellery accessory shelf, I suppose. We got um, all of my baubles in here, some cute ornaments. These are all of my, um, my headpieces, the ones I like a lot, with hats in the background there. This is actually like a cupcake stand but I've got all of my little clips on the top and my wrist cuffs and the bottom is my my bows and my clips we got some more ornaments and perfume in the back here this um, jar is filled with nice baubles and we've got my little mannequin that's got all my favorite bracelets on it the next shelf up is another plush shelf just got some of my favorite squishy guys in there. This is actually another one of my bears that I made uh, for my degree show. Again, uh, links in the description to my Patreon where you can have your own adorable bears made pretty much to your description. Wallace, the walrus, love him. Of course, the top shelf here is filled with my Jelly Cat plush collection. Oh, and of course my, my pinky as well, one of my favourites from when I was a kid. And then on the very, very top we've got some jumbo plushes. We've got a Marie and a, a Pompin Purin's girlfriend, who I can't remember the name of. Uh, we've got my Momo. All adorable fat plushes on the top there. I guess we should probably look over my bed, which as always has my Sailor Moon covers on it. My sleepy Dumbo, who is the cutest. Uh, another one, this is uh, my unicorn that I made for my degree show. Again, links in description if you would like your own. Pom Pom Poo and Cushion and my big lion who I love. If we just look up a bit on my uh, headboard here, we've got all of my pictures from my first trip to Japan with me and Paula. Millions and millions of Parikara. Any of you guys that watched my latest vlog will see that I graduated very recently. Uh, I'll pop a link up. You can watch that vlog too. It was a good day. Further up the wall, we've got my Zambi Candy prints. The ones from Zambi Candy. Funnily enough, because Zambi Candy is the one who does Zambi Candy prints. And this one is signed. I kind of ran out of room to put all my pictures, so on the side of my shelves here I just started sticking them. Got pictures of me and Conan, another signed print from Zambi Candy. The one and only Parikara taken from my second uh, Japan trip, which again, a uh, link, you can watch that vlog. Puro Land from my second trip with Rick. This is my Kira Imai print that I got signed at the London event. She was adorable, really sweet. Uh, we got some art that uh, Paula drew of me and her, and then the real me and Paula next to each other. It's me and my good friend Mark next to some made cafe pictures. This is some more art that Paula drew of me. She's great. There's me and Paula again. I'm seeing a, a pattern here. This is um, my sister and my mum and my cousin and myself. Can you guess which one I am? You probably guessed it right. <laughs> and here's my friends again from Edinburgh, Nathan and Richard. I don't get to see them very often, so I figured they should look at me while I sleep. Hmm. 
This corner of the room just has my bedside table in it. I'm not going to show you through the drawers, there's nothing super exciting, but uh, this is my unicorn jewellery stand that has my everyday jewellery on it, the stuff I wear most often. Um, this is my adorable, super cute bowl lamp for nighttime reading. And of course my little teacup candle, now with a little squid. Squishy squid. They sell them in my shop. I have millions of them. <laughs> These are my super nice pink and mint chiffon -y curtains with my ribbon tie backs. Aesthetic as fuck. On to the Disney side of my room. I'm just gonna go from top to bottom here. Got my hat from the Paris trip with my Tinkerbell lanyard. In the middle here, I've got my uh, my first ever autograph book from my Paris trip. And this is my wand from my first uh, trip to Japan and my first ever, no, my second ever trip to uh, Disneyland Tokyo. That was awesome. Again, you can find it there in my vlogs. And on the far side there, you've got my hat from my first trip to Disney Tokyo with uh, my, my bow on top of it. If we come down, we've got some stuff from my Paris trip. We've got my special edition uh, Mickey with the, the mug that you get to carry around. This is my special commemorative plate from Disney Tokyo. 30 years of magic. That is from when I was working at Disney, actually. Um, and we got given those because it was 30 years of Disney stores. And that is my work tag from when I worked at Disney. I was Star Butterfly because I love Star Butterfly. Got my Disney coins, we got pirate treasure from Pirates of the Caribbean. Got some pictures that used to be in frames, my Tinkerbell from Paris. These two frames that I love, uh, so from different trips, really cute frames. Got my Paris special cola with the castle on it. Yeah. And my Tinkerbell cup and saucer. My friend Rachel gave me this cup. It's my Disney belt. And I'll explain how my pins work. So basically I've got a bit of a, a thing going on with my pins here. They're categorized. So every time I go, the pins will go in the right order. So the pins down this side are for my favorite rides. We've got Hyperspace Mountain in Paris and um, Tower of Terror. The bottom is kind of like special pins, so 15th anniversary in Tokyo. I've got my birthday pin and a princess pin, I guess, because I'm a princess, question mark. This corner is the pins from the, the places I visited. So that's a Disney Paris pin and that's a Disney Tokyo pin because they're the only ones I've been to, obviously. The ones in the middle here are the main shows I've seen, so that's Once Upon a Time from Tokyo's Castle Show, and that's Illuminations from Paris's Castle Show. I'm gonna get pins all the way along the top for the princesses that I meet, and I have met three. Oh, no, I've met four. I need to get a uh, Snow White. And then at the far side here, I'm just going to have pins going down with keys from hotels that I'll stay in. So every time I stay in a different hotel, I'll get a pin and I'll put them down the side. Under my shelves, I've just got some more Disney pictures. So I've got me and Ariel, the first ever Disney princess I met uh, the second time I was in Disney, Japan. And then I've got two frames with like a collage inside. So we've got castles, that's... Disney Japan number one, that's Disney Paris, that's Disney Paris with their special like Christmas calendar castle, and that's Disney Japan number two. The second frame is just like a collection of nice pictures, mostly from like raids and things. So I've got um, first time in Japan with uh, Terror of Terror, I got um, in front of the globe in Disney Sea, I got a second time in Terror of Terror. It's uh, one of my favourite pictures of me and Conan in Disney Paris. Me and Paula freaking out on um, Splash Mountain. And then a really good picture. I nearly forgot that I have my uh, gorgeous pink hearts chandelier hanging up here 
We're almost all the way around my room now. Hello, this is my mirror that I have skillfully stuck to the back of this door. And you can see here, these are frogs, not frogs, frogs. <laughs> They're adorable. I'm gonna collect stickers and stick stickers all over this area because I love stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? Do you want to see what's inside this door? Should I leave that for another video? Maybe I'll just leave it for another video. No, I'm totally kidding. We can look in this cupboard. <laughs> da, 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 da. So this is my clothing cupboard. It is a little bit small, so my clothes are kind of squashed in here, but that is okay because I think it looks pretty nice. On the top here, these are all of this side, almost exclusively, is all jumpers. I might have a problem. <laughs> Up on the other side, my petticoats are just kind of stuffed in there and then my, my bed linen is under it. All of this is kind of hard to go through. Um, if you guys want to have like a wardrobe tour, I can organize that for you. My my very few remaining uh, Lolita dresses that I have, this one's actually currently up for sale. So I only... I only really have like one or two <laughs> dresses left, but don't worry, I'm in a better position now. I will, I will collect more. And then down here are a bunch more shoes. I got ones that I wear all the time, ones that I like, you know, just shoes. Yeah, so this is my new room. I pretty much did everything in my power to get this finished as quickly as possible so that I can make this room tour for you guys so that you weren't waiting a million years to get in and see my room again because my last flat, as you all probably know, it was a bit of a disaster and I never really had the money to do all the things that I wanted to do so it never really happened but now I am here and it's awesome and I'm really, I'm really enjoying my room I'm so happy to have pink walls again I thought that white walls would be like nice and clean because I wasn't allowed to paint the walls in my flat but I was wrong, it was actually just kind of cold and depressing-ish. <laughs> so now I live here and the question is where am I living? Because I have flatmates here so I'm not going to tell you today I am going to reveal to you where I'm staying in the next video so hope you guys are looking forward to that Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was worth the wait, I guess, if you were waiting for it. Um, I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed getting it done. It was a lot of hard work, a lot of hammering and drilling and, you know. So if you enjoyed this video guys, please give it a like and subscribe and share it and give me a comment because I love your comments. Uh, check the description below for a link to my Patreon for various things uh, and links to other videos and stuff and yeah I will see you guys next time Love.